Hey guys, so in this video we're going to be looking at five ways to blur out the background of your images without using software. Now what I will say is that these techniques, although they do blur out the background, you can counteract them with other techniques. So uh, if you use all of these things together, you'll have a really blurry background, and if you use just one or two, the background will be less blurred. I hope that makes sense, uh, let's get started. So five things, let's go. First one, uh, probably the most important one, is using a long lens. Uh, now this is a 70-200, so if you're shooting at uh, like 100mm or over, um, the background is likely to be very blurred. Um, as you go up the higher and higher, so if you go up to 300, 400 and even 500, you're pretty much guaranteed that the background of your picture is going to be blurred. Now if you look at sports pictures, if you go back to the newspaper and you see people playing football, all of the photographers along the pitch side are going to have really long lens cameras and you can see from the pictures the background is always blurred. Now not everybody's going to have the money to cut and splash on telephoto lens, although some of them you can get relatively cheap nowadays so it's always worth a look. Uh, let's go and have a look at idea number two. Trick number two is to use a macro lens. Uh, now macro lens are designed for getting up nice and close to objects. Um, by using this, uh, the background is usually very blurred. And in fact, if you're taking a picture of something really small, uh, say like an insect, you can actually get part of the insect in focus and part of the same insect out of focus. So if you look at this picture I've taken of a lizard here, by using a macro lens, I've managed to get its body sharp, I managed to get around the head sharp and the rest of it out of focus. Number three is the aperture. So the aperture is the size of the hole the light goes through when it's in the lens. Now if you have this set at a, a wide aperture, say f2 for example, you're going to get more light in and the background is going to be more blurred. Now if you close the aperture down, um, the background will be less blurred. The more you close it down, the less blurred the background will be. Number four. Uh, the closer you get to your subject when you're taking the picture, the more blurred the background will be. Now this will depend on the lens, on how close you can get to the image, and it may overlap slightly with the macro. This technique is still valid with a wide angle lens. If you shoot at a low aperture, or really close to your subject, you can get a really blurred background still, even though you're using a wide angle lens. So if the subject you're focusing on is close to the camera, the background will be more blurred. If it's further away, it will be less blurred. So with this technique, your lens will limit how close you can be when you focus the camera but it will still work with every lens you have. And lastly, number five, and this is gonna be moving the subject further away from the background. The further away the subject is from the background, the more blurred the background will be. Okay guys, so for this one, I'm gonna switch over to some uh, 3D rendering software, uh, hence the difference in my voice. What I've done is I've set up a camera at a set angle of 200 millimeters, and I've put this tube at a fixed distance in front of it. So this is a view through the camera. As the background moves backwards, you can see the background gets more blurry. And then if we head to the side, we can see what's going on with the background moving backwards. Now guys, I hope that's given you a good concept on how to blur the background. Now again, what I was saying earlier in the video is that you can combine all of these together and you can make the background really blurred and you can actually do it so much in fact that you can make something eye sharp with its nose being out of focus. And this is just controlling the depth of field. Now if we look at this picture I took here uh, of this lizard, I took this in Australia, uh, this was a small lizard, I used a telephoto lens which was also a macro lens, I got in really close to the lizard, the background was far away and I shot this at f.28. So this picture has taken in all the tips of this video and as you can see the background is completely unrecognisable and actually you can only see the head, the rest of the body also is unrecognisable as well. So this isn't always going to be what you want. So you can actually uh, invert some of these techniques, like you could use a long lens, and then you could use a closed aperture, say f22, so the background will be slightly blurred, but still recognizable. So I've got one last tip for you, and this is that on the camera, there is a little button here, and this is a depth of field preview button. Now I believe this is gonna be on pretty much every uh, digital SLR camera there is out there. And what this does is when you press it and look through the viewfinder, uh, you'll be able to see how blurred the background is. It will generally make the picture through the uh, viewfinder go a bit darker, but this will not affect your exposure in the final picture. So guys, as always, if you found this video useful, uh, give me a thumbs up or subscribing is a great way to show support, and it lets me know I'm going in the right direction with my video content. If you do have any questions, please post them in the comment sections down below, and I hope to see you in the next video.